Hello, plastic model builders. Welcome back to the Ravel B25J Mitchell. This is part six of the 148 scale. Uh, if you haven't ever subscribed to my channel, do that, comment, like, all that good stuff. We love that. Uh, what you just saw was me filling in the gaps on the engine mounts and the uh, cowlings. Gets kind of bad there. Uh, so what I'm doing here, I am painting the entire bottom of this aircraft a neutral gray color find one of those fs colors that might be it might not but that's what i did it's neutral gray i'm going to do the whole bottom portion of this once we're done the whole bottom portion we are going to find some of the other parts that do need painting as well and paint some of those neutral gray there are a couple of them here's one of them got the little football antenna it's got a little thingy there sand it off if you want, you can leave it. It's up to you. It's your model. So I sanded mine off and now we're painting it both sides. There we go. It's all done. Got our bay doors. Going to paint both sides of those. Actually, not both sides, but just the left and the right side. We got our ladder right there. That's the reverse side of it. And of course, our gear doors. One of those right there. And here's the other bay door. Two of those and two of everything. So they're just a quick little spritz for wow effect all right so now the tops certain parts go olive drab uh i got my little shield here for paper as you know my opinion even though i'm using an airbrush if you don't want paint going anywhere mask it off you see i got a little bit of bubble out of the top there but that's what all these marks are here um the way i'm doing this it's not the greatest way because i have the plane facing down uh so basically it's going to create lines that are a little less predominant I probably should have flipped it over when I did it but this is how I did it lesson learned maybe next time I'll do it a little bit differently so just get under the engine nacelles right there because that part will go a dark olive green right here you see on that uh, stabilizer get both of those underneath while you got the plane turned over so now we've got our wings I am not very concerned about how even this turns out it's an old plane it was in war uh, paint fades over time you know all sorts of different factors going on so it's okay to not have it even it makes it look weathered it gives the plane character as you can see here some spots it's light some spots it's thick some spots it's light and some spots it's dark good stuff just see me getting everything first I go one direction then I go back and I go a different direction that's how I like to do things to make sure I get even coats and it gives the model this little thing we call character it's my model so I get to make it as characteristic as possible so here almost done the main fuselage at least with the first coat then you just got to get the tail right back there there we go getting the tail the tail is done yes so now we're going that second coat that i was talking about going the opposite way across the entire wings there we go as you see it right there same thing i was left wing did the right ring one little spritz across the bottom and that's pretty much it for painting the fuselage as you can see very simple model making madness and make it look pretty take off our masking tape there we go and you can see i got a little bit of that olive drab there on the wing not a big deal silly putty that's what i used peels off very easily that's how i did it watch like so boom done you see i do have some foam in there also still have the uh, front gear covered up and then, like up close you'll see the spading came in a little different than i had hoped right there that's okay that's what happens when you spray in different angles so now we got our cowlings I'm going to spray those yellow i wasn't overly concerned with how even the putty around it came out because you can just tidy that up with some weathering put some black on it it'll hide any inaccuracies you see that's a good thing about weathering is that we can make these planes look good even with mistakes in painting yellow it does not like to cover very well it's a tricky color just like when you spray white so we also do some white on this as well well you see just do light coats and then go a little bit darker it bonds better that way that way you get the first coat there using acrylic paints it will dry and then you can 
thicken it up, layer it up, and it looks better and better every time you do it. Peel off our stuff and you see that's what we've got left. Anything that looks weird, see a little bit there, weather it. All right, so we have the wing tips here. Those go gloss white. Light coats, then heavier coats. That's how it bonds and you see it like that. That's one tip. This is the other tip we're going to do one side and come back and do the other sides later. This is just, when I mean other sides, I mean the top because this is the bottom. You see right there is where lights will also go. So the landing gear, we got to put that in. I believe the instructions called for it to go in earlier, but I did mine differently and wanted to wait for the parts, make painting easier. So you kind of got to push in that one end right there. You see it gets caught. so just push it down give it a little nudge and then you can get that little hole inserted with the landing gear just like that not that hard bay doors there are two of them cut them off uh not a lot of plastic material to work with to get it glued down that is what it is see just a little bit there scrape your paint off first you're going to get a better bond as usual hold it in place you see it's got that little flat spot there which doesn't quite line up with the uh Bombay racks, which I'm sure it was supposed to, but that's modeling. I left it. Please don't pay attention to that because I'm not a perfectionist. Get that in there. Just hold it till it sets. Then do the other side. That's, you see, I did. All right, so here are the landing gear doors right here. Two of those. Same kind of deal. It does not have a lot of surface area to bond to. So you kind of got to make it work and hold it in place or find something to hold it in place until it dries. Got my little toothpick there to press it down. It helped a little bit. And then you can also use masking tape, but if, from what I remember when I did that, it may have peeled off the entire uh, landing gear and I had to redo it. Go figure. That's what happens when you model. So there, we have that in there. You see the tape holding it in place. You see the yellow. I got a little bit of yellow where I shouldn't have. That's okay. Paint is a wonderful thing. So here, this is the front bay landing gear door uh, get some plastic cement in that glue use toothpicks to hold them down best you can at least that's how I did it shove that in there and then I put another one on the other side best I could just like that and just let it sit there for a while it will dry I promise you that's what it does it's glue it hardens in like over 15 hours all right so I added some light weathering this you know that's around the uh, gun turret places that would get a lot of wear and tear maybe from people stepping cleaning glass these are where the fuel goes naturally people are going to be up there inserting things in peeling out caps putting them back on that kind of thing cleaning glass again just various areas just put silver it's like bare metal streaks easier than putting liquid mask and taking it off you could try that technique i've done it various times not sure how i still feel about it experimenting so little streaks here and this is what we've got going on so now we've got i'm using like a light concoction of dirty brown to go all around the wheel hubs this way we can see that it looks a little bit of weathering and you see that paint right there that i got just mix it in go around put it all up in here it's almost like you're landing on a dirty airfield People like weathering. I like subtle weathering. I don't like things to look like they weren't maintained. And I do believe the military maintains their aircraft to this day. Although people might say they didn't really do that. All right, so we're going to glue the wheels in place. Put a little bit of glue in. Press it in. Don't wait too long for this process because we need to level everything out. Because as you can see, they have flat spots on them. So once you get those on, take the plane. Flip it over, press it down. This is a tail sitter. If you don't know what a tail sitter is, that means it likes to pop up on the back. So you got to weight it down on the front. So here is the other tops of the wing tips that go white. As you see me painting here, not always good to paint white over a dark color, but I did it. Light coats turns out fine. See, that's one coat. That's what it looks like after two. It's nice and bright. Now the prop tips, they are painted brown. So you got a total of 12 sides to do. Three each side per plane, per prop, and then flip them on the back. Another three per side, so there's your 12. Just a little bit brown, goes on nicely.
just like that you see that's one of them that's how good it looks I'll show you a close-up shot that way you can see it and it turns out very well I was happy with my wing propellers there you go and that's what it looks like got some streaking on there so here is the stool paint that brown front and back inside and out that's going to help the plane sit and then put a gloss coat on the model for decaling and that's basically it get that gloss coat on and as always until next time see ya